Oh, hey, Sanctuary Kids. I am trying to make a cake for Piper's birthday today. It's gonna be a surprise. So I have my directions in front of me and I have my cake and I already put three cups of flour in there but it asks for two thirds more and I don't really have any more flour but I have baking soda and, and baking powder so this basically looks like flour. So it should be totally fine, right? Okay, two thirds cup. Woo! What else we got? Okay, we need salt, one teaspoon of salt. This is a spoon that I use to eat, so this should be fine, right? Put some salt on there. It's gonna taste great. What else do we need? Three large eggs. Okay, we have eggs. Woo! These eggs are actually from our neighbor's house. She's amazing, and it's real chickens. Isn't that amazing? And she gives us her eggs. Oh, that's okay. I dropped the shell, but I mean, it's just gonna be a little crunchy. That's totally fine. Okay, now we have one and a half cups of butter and two cups of sugar. What? Let's do three cups of sugar and no butter. That makes sense, right? Plus, we like our cakes to be really sugary and really sweet. Whoever wrote this must be old. They don't even know. Three cups of sugar and no butter. Let's just finish it out. Woo, sugar! It's gonna be amazing. Piper's gonna love it. Okay, what else we got? Some vanilla extract. Let's do it. Boop. That should be enough, that's perfect. And, oh, we're making it pink because it's gonna be a unicorn cake. So, oh, I only have blue and green. What should I use? Uh, I'll just I'll just use green. I mean, unicorns are green, right? There's the beautiful green unicorns in every story ever. Okay, I'm just gonna stir that up and chop those eggs and I will see you guys soon. Oh, and please let us know if you're not getting our mail. We send you guys in letters every Wednesday. So every single Friday or Saturday, you should be getting our mail. Okay, I'm gonna stir this up, put it in the oven, and get ready for work. I'll see you guys later. But wait, how could you say that? Because it's obvious. Stealing is clearly worse than lying, so therefore, God hates stealing more. Uh, but uh, what about making idols? Like playing video games too much or putting movie stars above God? Wouldn't he be more mad at that? No, no, no. Definitely stealing. <sighs> hey guys, what are y'all arguing about? We are trying to figure out which of the Ten Commandments is the greatest of all time. Oh, that's easy. It is? What is it? Thou shalt not covet. What? We are all princesses in the eyes of God. We should not, we should love one another and be happy for one another and we are all beautiful Okay, and okay, okay. That cannot be it. Yeah, because remember when Paul took my bike? Um, I thought he borrowed your bike. For a whole year! Uh, but what about valuing one another's life? That has to be the greatest commandment. Thou shalt not murder. Yeah, 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 I hear you, I hear you. But picture this. Okay. You have a rainy Monday morning. Yeah. And you walk to the bus. Okay. Because you have no bike. Oh my god. Oh, oh, duh. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Breaking your promises can be devastating. Or taking the Lord's name in vain. The commandment clearly says we cannot misuse his powerful name and to keep his name holy. Definitely, definitely. For sure, for sure, bro. I completely see what you're saying. But picture this. Okay. It's a snowy Thursday evening. Oh, no. And, and we cannot forget the Sabbath, the day we rest and worship God and remember all his blessings. Yeah. This has to be the greatest commandment. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Yes. I don't oh, understand no, this. No, no, no. What's going on? Hey, What's going on? How thou shalt not steal, like your friend's bike. Man, you really have to get over that. This is silly. All the commandments are there for a reason, so they are all equal. Actually. Oh, I knew it! <laughs> okay, guys, listen to this. 
Paul lives three doors down. Oh, if we leave now, we can be back before dinner. No, 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 no. How do I explain this? Okay, come with me and I'm gonna tell you a story about how someone tried to trick <gasps> Jesus. Come with me. Okay. Someone tried to trick Jesus? Paul would. Hi everybody. I'm gonna tell you a story in the New Testament specifically in Mark, about somebody that tried to trick Jesus. That sounds crazy, right? Who would think that they could trick Jesus? Well, there were two people. One was named the Sadducees, <laughs> and the other, the Pharisees. And they did not believe in Jesus. They did not think he was the Savior. And this is Jesus. So, every once in a while, they were trying to trap him in conversations trying to test him on the different laws of Moses. One day, they walked on up to Jesus and said, what do you think the greatest commandment is? Now, they were trying to trap him. He was teaching to all of his followers and trying getting him to say something that would make one of Moses' laws more important to, than the other. So you know what I'm saying? Do you see how they're trying to trick him here? So, Jesus actually responded. He said the greatest commandment, and it was Mark chapter 12, verse 29. He goes, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one, and you are to love him with all of your heart, all of your soul, all of your mind, and all of your strength. Do it with me. Your heart, your soul, your mind, and your strength. And then he goes on to say the second greatest commandment, which was love your neighbor as yourself. And then he said, no other commandments compared to these. So why are these two commandments greater than all the other 10 commandments? What makes these two stand out? Well, if you think about it, if you love God with what? All of your heart, your soul, your mind, your strength, would you really say his name in vain? If you really loved him, would you forget about the Sabbath? Would you forget to worship him? Would you put other gods in front of him? And if you loved your neighbor as yourself, as in if you really loved your family and all your friends, would you lie? Would you steal? Would you covet and be super jealous of your friend's blessings? So that's what he was saying. He was saying if you do these things, then really you're obeying all of the Ten Commandments. So really the, the Sadducees and the Pharisees didn't trap him at all. God wants us to hide these laws in our hearts. How do you hide a law in your heart? You do surgery and stick it in there? No. You hide these laws in your heart by memorizing them. In the Old Testament, they used to write these commandments on their gates and on their doors and in their homes. Have you ever seen a scripture in your parents' home or maybe someone else's house? That's what they're doing. They were hiding God's laws in their heart and you can do that. You can go get a piece of paper right now and write down your favorite verse or maybe a commandment that you're struggling with and you can put it in your room and you can be reminded every single day of his commandments. He loves us so much but He's not going to force you to love him back. He's not gonna demand your love or force you to obey his commandments. But if you surrender, if you let go and let go of sin, he will fill you with his Holy Spirit and protect you and love you and your family and your friends. He'll take away all the fear and he'll give you peace and he'll give you joy and he'll give your family joy and your mom and your dad. That comes with obeying and loving God. Again, he's not gonna make you do that, but he asks us and, and says that if you give your life to him, if you're baptized and you're filled with his spirit, he's gonna take care of everything else. And when you love him with all of your heart, all of your soul, all of your mind, and all of your strength, then you're really obeying all of the Ten Commandments, and that's why it's the greatest commandment. So we're gonna pray together right now, and we're just gonna surrender to God. So I want you to 
to close your eyes with me, to really close your eyes. Mom and Dad, help me out here. Let's hold hands and we're gonna pray together. Close your eyes. God, I love you so much. Help me to obey all of these commandments, but above this, help me to fall in love with you, God. Help me to love you with all of my heart and soul and my mind and with all of my strength. Let me give you all of me. I wanna love my neighbor. I wanna love my friends. I wanna love my mom and dad. I wanna honor them and I wanna see you in my life. God, I give myself to you in Jesus' name. Kids, if you have any questions about being filled with the Holy Spirit or getting baptized, talk to your mom and dad. Talk to one of us, call us up. We would love to talk to you about it. We love you and we miss you. And the power line for today is love God with all. That's the first law. So congratulations, you are Junior Crime Stopper. We are so excited for you and have a great, <gasps> my cake. My cake's in the oven. Okay, time for the big reveal. Hey, hey, what you got there? Oh, it's a, it's a unicorn cake. Yeah, it's. Uh, Do you want to try these? Uh, yeah, yeah, try these. yeah, it's real unique. Okay. Oh, looky. Hot boy, it looks so delicious, so. <laughs> but I don't even have a fork, so you just have to use your hand. Hey, I'm used to it around <laughs> yeah. here, you know what I'm talking about? So I'm enjoying this here cake right here. Um, um, so good or what? Yeah. What? Uh, oh, it's so cute. I think you're going to love it. Do you like it? We want another piece? That is a little work. Yeah? You're going to have a work. Yikes. Why is Pastor chugging down water like he just ran a marathon? Ugh, I guess my cake for you. I was supposed to be a surprise, but it didn't turn out too well. Yeah, what happened? Well, Technically, I used, well, most of the ingredients didn't really follow the directions. <laughs> kind of like the Ten Commandments. You can't go halfway. As in, if you stick your tongue out behind your mom's back and she doesn't see, that's still dishonoring your parents. Or if you're kind of just deceiving, that's still a lie. Or borrowing something for a very long time with no intentions of giving it back, that is still stealing. We can't go halfway. These are our ingredients for life. The Ten Commandments are our directions. And we are so proud of you, Junior Crime Stoppers, for completing all of them. And remember, love God with all. That's the first law. Pablo, where are you going? <laughs> I'm gonna get Paul some of this cake. <gasps> no! Should be first in your life